For those of you that think this is going to be a Pixar movie, <laughs> well, you're wrong. Welcome to another episode of Emmett's Bricks and Tips. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Emmett's Bricks and Tips. Now, I did look at the comments of the last episode, which was uploaded yesterday, and um, somebody made a comment just randomly saying me too. And... To be honest, I'm not really sure why he said that or what it was supposed to mean, but um, it did make me think for a little bit. It's kind of like with the last episode where um, somebody randomly said um, how to make a kid's pizza place. I decided, you know what, I'll just take the idea of food and just simply make bacon, which is what I did last time. So I'm going to do the same thing with this comment. Now, yes, I did see the other comments that somebody suggested that I should talk about wrapping presents. Well, in case you weren't aware, I do plan on having the next episode of Emmett's Bricks and Tips be Christmas-themed. And plus, the next episode will be uploaded on Christmas Day, very fittingly. So, don't worry, I'll talk about all Christmas stuff in that episode. So, I thought about it for a little bit, about what Me Too is supposed to mean. And then I'm like, oh yeah, about like three years ago, um... A lot of, you know, people have come out about, like, you know, a variety of celebrities that have, like, you know, sexually harassed them. Like, Bill Cosby, Harvey Weinstein, Louis C.K., Kevin Spacey, uh, and many others. John Lasseter, John Chris Lucy, the list goes on. I don't even need to go on all day, but yes. So... And in this current day and age, cancel culture is quite a huge thing. You know, people just love to, you know, have a reason to, you know, get somebody off of a social media platform. So you know what? I decided to take that two-word comment made by one of our viewers and make it into this episode. So today I'm going to teach you how to cancel people. Oh boy, is this going to be a fun one. So let's just say for an example, you're basically browsing through somebody's feed on a website like let's say Instagram, Facebook or Twitter or etc or Tumblr because that's definitely quite a place for you know emotional people. But anyways, let's see, let's just say you find a post by somebody that even though they meant it as a joke, you think they're being serious. You took their post out of context. Let's say somebody you know makes a funny meme about like a certain kind of um certain kind of person and then you take that and you basically stretch the truth. You make it um, think that um, you make it seem like that this person, you know, is like, uh, I don't know, like a racist or a, a sexist person or transphobic or whatever. You make it seem like they are. And uh, you post about it and you say to people like, oh, my God, this person's bad. Let's get them canceled. And uh, yeah, uh, we'll see what happens. Or, let's just say you know how to use a uh, software like Photoshop. You can take their text and just, you know, change it up to make it seem like they're a bad person. Or, um, if they had a video clip, and uh, if you have a video editing software, you can just edit it out to, like, you know, make it sound like they're saying something bad. Hell, remember that iCarly episode where she had to fight um, this boxer played by Victoria Justice? And, uh, yeah, they made it seem like that, um... She was a bad person. Yeah, it's basically just like that, except in real life. Or, if you're a very smart hacker, basically try to find a way to hack into their account and post, you know, some stuff that'll make them get some hate. That'll be probably the most efficient way to get somebody canceled. Well, at least if you know how to hack. Uh, could somebody get me out of this tent, please? And there you go, everybody. That is how you cancel somebody on social media. Nah, I'm just kidding. Um, I don't condone that. Um, nobody should really, you know, cancel somebody for no reason. Um, unless you have an actual legitimate reason for canceling somebody, and you actually have actual evidence to prove it. But other than that, uh, don't just, you know, randomly cancel people just because you don't like them. That's... I do not condone that whatsoever. But, uh, anyways, this was sort of made as a joke, um, 
<laughs> Hopefully nobody, you know, takes this episode seriously. Um, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, despite the fact that the title that says how to cancel people, don't cancel people. Especially, you know, when they're innocent. Anyways, that's about it for this episode. Um, feel free to let me know in the comments what you want to see me talk about in a future episode of Emmett's Bricks and Tips. And like I mentioned earlier, next episode will be Christmas themed, so... Stay tuned for that. Get your Christmas socks, your Christmas sweaters, get your hot cocoa, get your candy canes, get your presents, get your family. Well, depending on what my episode's going to be talking about, but it's probably going to be okay. Get in the Christmas spirit for the next episode, which will come out in two weeks on Christmas Day. So, yes, see you everybody later. And um, I got to make sure nobody is hacked into my social media accounts. Uh, hopefully I don't get canceled. <laughs>